All right. I got my beer. And I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to see what this is going to be. I'm so excited. They're going to announce a demo right after this too. Guaranteed. Here we go. This is going to be like the last one. The last little bit of Final Fantasy 7 we're going to find out about before I'm assuming before it all before it comes out. What happened to this place? It was Sephiroth. He wants to finish what he started and rule over the planet. We have to help them. You coming? Way ahead of you. Let's get to work. Ah. I will reclaim our world. Let's go. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま。皆さんこんにちは。スクエアエニックスの北瀬義則です。私がシリーズプロデューサーを務めるファイナルファンタジー 今回のステートプレイではこのゲームの魅力を凝縮した最新のトレーラーをはじめ特別なゲーム紹介映像を用意しています。Important announcement about a demo that they'll announce at the end of the program. Guaranteed. Hopefully, hopefully it's out like right now. Cloud, bring me the black materia. Man, they really are showing like maybe a little too much the, end, the celebration of the faithful <laughs> a watershed moment for all jeez man hey kids sorry we're late <laughs> they really are showing too much oh my god oh the combat looks like an improvement. Oh my gosh. You're going to pay. Now, who wants to be the first lucky lady? Oh, I'm so hey, glad boss, we get to fight him again. Here. <laughs> At long last, the day returns. I refuse to be upstaged a second time. Knew he was coming back. Oh, no, no. I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. We ask that you retrieve it. The black materia. Key to our oblivion. Please. It alone can liberate us from this endless dream. Ooh. Passing through? You. Tifa! Whew! Hey, guys! They're getting some sun, too, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, Red? How do we look? Huh? <clears throat> you should get yourself a ring! It's got to be hiding some ginormous materia. Okay, you're going to make me cry too, Found Face 7. Good to know. Whoa! Hold this thing over right now. Yeah! So Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Oh my gosh. Yes, new mini games. Oh no no. <laughs> Wait, don't misunderstand. You'll need a way home. So when you're ready, I'll be here. An emissary from Wutai is here. Sent by Viceroy Saru. With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Those we hate, those we love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. Sephiroth. Oh no. Hey! No. Not you. Here. 
Take it. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. The reunion. When spite and sorrow are harvested to feed the planet. No! What the hell? What is what? Where is this? What? Everyone, hello. This is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, director of Hamaguchi Naoki. What? Like a dude? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this That's so cool. kind of feels like the opening of the of rebirth i'm waiting cloud yeah, i bet that's how they're just gonna open it final fantasy 7 remake cloud and his companions triumph over destiny leaving the city of midgar behind they step out into an unfamiliar wilderness it is here that final fantasy 7 rebirth begins Ah. The stage upon which this ragtag band story unfolds is both vast and varied. The world Holy is made up of smokes. multiple regions, all seamlessly interconnected. Wow. The grasslands. Located due south of Midgard, this is where Cloud and the gang resume their adventure. Wow. The Junon region. Where a metropolis by the same name overlooks the ocean, a symbol of Shinra's military might. The Karel region. The resort town of Costa del Sol adorns oh its northern shore. While the gold saucer stands as a gilded oasis above the dust bowl far to the south. Oh, I'm so excited for gold saucer. The Gingaga region. Pay tribute to Zack by exploring his hometown. Or visit what remains of the local Mako reactor. Wow. The Cosmo Canyon region. Yup. Become one with the planet as you return to Red 13's roots. The Nebel region. Hmm. Take a trip down memory lane with Cloud and Tifa. Or stop by Shinra Manor, where Vincent rests in peace. For now. Your adventure will even extend to the high seas. Look at the tiny Bronco! This is... There's more to do than simply walk around, however. First, let's look at world intel. I... I man, I don't know. I just... With I, research, I just think they're... ...understanding of the world, allowing him to develop new materia. I think they're just this giving us too much stuff. Forms, I don't know. Wrangling chocobos. Or playing with the Mooglets at their mock stools. Yes! You may also come across sanctuaries brimming with knowledge of divine entities. Oh. Or lairs inhabited by fearsome, unique foes. Chadley will also enlist your help in researching mysterious artifacts known as proto relics. Each investigation is its own Holy side story, smokes. featuring a colorful cast of characters, exciting new mini games, and ferocious creatures. Are you up for the challenge? And once you recover all the proto relics scattered throughout the world, there's no telling what new developments might be in store. Next, let's what talk about that? odd jobs. These quests offer a deep dive into the regions of the world and the crazy characters who inhabit them. As a merc, Cloud will accept work from people he meets in his yes. <laughs> and team up with his pals to solve their troubles. By helping those in need, nice. he will also strengthen the bonds between him and his comrades. No way! They put Each a one of fall. These odd jobs wow. Boasts a unique side story. Some, like Johnny's questline, borrow aspects from the original FF7, while others highlight content exclusive to Rebirth. 
You'll find all sorts of jobs the world over. And don't worry if you leave some for later. Oh, yeah. Story progression won't affect your side hustle. You can always go back to tie up loose ends. And this freedom to experience the story how you want is one of Rebirth's greatest strengths. While some mini games are tied to world wow. ends and odd jobs, many are not. For example, popular nice. ones in the Gold Saucer, such as 3D Brawler, G Bike, and Chocobo Racing, are in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth 2. Oh, whoa. Others improve upon their remake versions, while still more are completely new to Rebirth. Uh oh. We've even fleshed out some of the mini games that were featured as part of the original Final Fantasy VII. Oh, game good. Scenario. That one needs to be. Though this one is not in the original, I highly suggest you check out the card game, Queen's Blood. No matter where you are in the story, it's sure to both challenge and entertain you. Yeah, dude. You enjoy collecting all the cards and building your own unique decks. I'm super excited for. He's planning to use the black material. I'm excited for that. But I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by Ecetra. And I'm the last. While well, that's the forest of the ancients. Exploration are a big part of Rebirth's charm. There's more to it than just that. Rebirth provides a cinematic experience with even higher quality content and more of it than remake. This installment follows Cloud and company after they escape Midgar up through to their arrival at the Forgotten Capital. We've taken painstaking care mm. to depict how the group bonds during their journey, one that ultimately decides Aerith's fate. Once you finish Rebirth, I'm sure you'll agree that no other game makes you feel quite this close to its characters. Not even him. As I don't, graphics, I mean... Cool. Rebirth makes full use of the PlayStation 5 and its SSD. Meaning we could use much higher resolution assets than we could in Remake. And they will still load in the blink of an eye. Maintain a 60 FPS frame rate with performance mode. Or prioritize 4K resolution with graphics mode. Whichever you prefer. Rebirth has you covered. Yeah. Each character interacts Looks with the so world good. in their own way. Barrett shoots objects. Yuffie swings across gaps. Oh, that's super cool. Tifa has her grappling gun. Red can climb along walls. Huh. Kate Sith grabs and throws items. And you can just... Oh, that is really Aaron cool. manipulates the life stream. Whatever challenges you face, your teammates will be ready to help you overcome them. I'm actually, like, kind of shocked about that. Now for the music. Yeah, dude. We wanted to pay respect to the original FF7's tracks, but also challenge ourselves by matching the feeling of each scene, which resulted in some truly innovative arrangements. Like, for example, the following. Ooh. How is that? If you enjoyed what you heard, we recorded well over 400 new tracks for this game. Wow. So there's plenty more where that came from. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Your party's bonds aren't just reflected in the story. They're like really the showing a lot with well. that. Wow. The choices you make throughout your adventure will change the way your comrades feel towards Cloud. Yeah. At least I made that promise to you. Cloud These looks kind of weird. Affect who will join you on a date in the I don't know. Saucer. I don't know why. Something I'm sure many of you are excited about. Yeah. In fact, even allies who weren't available in the original FF7 
can now accompany you, provided you play your cards right. The saucer is packed with many incredible they know what they're doing. to see and things to do. No Clareth Seer. So your outing there will no doubt be a highlight of the game. Already have someone who you'd like to go with? Well, we hope they feel the same way too. <laughs> Your well, there it is, Canon. Sorry. Not only with Cloud, but with each other as well. Your party level, a numerical expression of this bond, will increase as you overcome challenges. I'm going to accompany you. Yes, Red. The higher this level, the more skills will become available in your character's folios, a mechanic new to rebirth. Huh. By unlocking the skills etched in these tones, your characters will grow stronger and learn new synergy commands. Part of what makes Rebirth's combat so fun is all the different wow. character combinations. Switch up your team to fit the situation, or even your mood. Oh, that was dope. Every possible party combination has its own unique synergy commands. So once you find characters that work for you, focus on tweaking their skills to match your combat needs. And don't be afraid to experiment. You can reset your folios at any time. Oh my gosh. With new characters and synergy commands at your disposal, Remake's satisfying hybrid of action combat and strategic planning has been made even more dynamic and engaging. I kind of feel like maybe Vincent and Sid aren't going to be... All this and more in Final aren't, Fantasy VII Rebirth on PlayStation 5. Aren't actually going to be playable. Nomura! Yeah, now I'm curious. Alright, here we go. Demo. We're releasing a demo today. All important Nibelheim Nibelheim flashback where you can play as both Cloud and Sephiroth. Between now and Rebirth's release, adding a portion of the Junon region to the demo. Okay. Okay.Get ready for the game, main game's launch. I'm assuming that demo, I hope anyways, isn't going to go towards the main game i also i'm like almost don't know if i i almost don't know if i want to play the demo you know like i i know it's gonna be good at this like i i'm it's good it's it's final fantasy 7 oh that's interesting Okay, so yeah, it is the gold saucer. I just I feel like they don't need to show us anything else at like we we know what this game is going to be it's great that they're giving us a demo I'm really happy about that but like I just feel like we've seen so much what we haven't seen though is we have not seen Vincent or uh we have not seen Vincent 
What what is chat saying? Yeah, W's. That's what I thought. W's, baby, W's. Um, we haven't seen Vincent or Sid yet in actual gameplay. So I think potentially that means that we might we might not see them yet. Um maybe, potentially. So I don't know. Maybe they're saving their game. Maybe they won't be playable until the third game. But this, was, there was some stuff there that I was kind of surprised to see. I feel like the part where they showed, there was like a little video that they showed of, uh, it was, um, so I want to know who that is. I'm not sure who that is. This part here, the, with rage. He stabs Sephiroth. He's like, good. The world will be saved, but will you? I almost wonder if, there and I've heard that I've heard this theory a few times that it's not going to be Sephiroth that kills Aerith it's going to be us it's going to be Cloud that kills Aerith be, being controlled by Sephiroth or or whatever whatever you know thinking she's Genova or whatever which makes sense because there's a Genova fight right after that right I'm and that now Aerith I and what I'm is back. There's a part later where Sephiroth says, not you. We ask that you retrieve it. It's right here. Hey! No, not you. I, oh man, it's, I don't know what to, I don't know what to, uh, what to expect. And I don't know who the, um, who this person is. They look amazing though. Um, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. I think they are potentially um, the 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 whispers. They might be the whispers. Judging by judging by just kind of how he looks, is he might be yeah. He might be like the leader of the whispers. Ask or, that you retrieve it, the black materia, key to our oblivion. The black materia, key to our oblivion. Yeah, for some reason, that feels like maybe it's the whispers to me. I can't think of any... I honestly can't think of... There's that like guy in the cottage that you can find that tells you where to go. Gives you like a clue in the original. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see, uh, see some demo stuff. Thanks for watching. Never give up, never surrender. Can't wait for the 29th. Bye, friends.